the hedgehog pathway is involved in the development of much of the embryo. Um, and it turns out, however, to be involved not just in degenerative diseases, but also in cancer. Um, and there's a hedgehog antagonist, which has just been an approved drug that I worked on when I was, worked in a biotech company before coming here. But when I got here, Andy McMahon and I decided to see if we could further explore what I can call the pharmacology of the hedgehog signaling pathway. Um, and there were three reasons to do this. Um, one reason um, was that a lot of the existing hedgehog antagonists have um, a, a curious effect, which is they can um, kind of wear off and hyperactivate hedgehog signaling. So to us, that seemed disadvantageous for a drug that would treat cancer. The second reason was that in certain cancers, particularly medulloblastoma, a childhood brain tumor, the target of a lot of the hedgehog antagonists that are being developed uh, smoothened mutates and the mutated smoothened becomes resistant to the drugs that are being developed. And so we wanted to see if we could develop a form of, the, of, of a hedgehog antagonist that would still act on the mutated forms. And then the third reason was we wanted to more broadly explore how the hedgehog pathway is regulated and to see if we could come up with completely novel ways of turning on and turning off the pathway. We decided to do this in a way that people hadn't really uh, done it at scale before, which is instead of using a standard kind of reporter gene assay, we used a very biological assay. It was a biological assay that involved a high content um, based imaging screen. So in this assay, we tried to capture the very fundamental aspect of hedgehog signaling, which is the translocation of a protein called smoothened from the cytoplasm to the membrane. Um, and we did this by using cells that expressed two fluorescent markers, a fluorescent marker of the cilium and a fluorescent marker of smoothened. And we screened for molecules that would block the translocation of smoothened. Those would be antagonists and molecules that would stimulate the translocation of smoothened, those would be agonists. We found both. In a paper that was recently published and in a paper that will soon be published, we describe um, various features of molecules that we found in a screen that um, was based on the use of about 7,500 small molecules. We found some very interesting things, including the things that we set out to find, which is to say molecules that inhibit even the mutated forms of smoothened. We also found some molecules that turn on hedgehog signaling and can be thought of as agonists, activators of the hedgehog signaling pathway, and we're going to further explore them for their use in um, stimulating things like tissue repair. We then went on and with the funding of the Harvard Accelerator Program, um, used our knowledge uh, gained from this small screen to conduct a much, much bigger screen of a real drug-like um, chemical diversity collection that contained 56,000 molecules. And from that screen, which worked very, very well, we got a massive amount of data, identified many new kinds of hedgehog antagonists and agonists, and we're excited about working out how these new kinds of molecules act and what their clinical potential may be.